Hey everyone, it is Kat over here at Confessions of the Perfect Mom. I thought we would chat a little bit about holiday traditions and some simple, free, and easy ones to implement kind of throughout the holiday season to make your Christmas seem a little bit uh, more holiday, more full of spirit and whatnot. So these are ones that I actually asked my daughters about. Um, I asked them what their favorite holiday traditions are or the things that they are most looking forward to in this holiday season. And I have to admit, I was really kind of surprised by the answers. I was expecting things like opening presents on Christmas morning. I was expecting, oh, the really big meal that we have on Christmas night or, you know, some of these other things were like the bigger items of Christmas for us. And it wasn't, um, it actually didn't have any of the big money ticket items. And when I asked them about that, their response was, well, those things are great. I mean, we love opening presents in the Christmas morning, just like every other kid, but they aren't the things that we remember. You know, they couldn't tell me what they got for Christmas two years ago. They couldn't tell me which years we were able to have really big Christmases or which Christmases were a little bit more sparse. They couldn't tell me any of that, but they could tell me which years we did these things, which was kind of neat. And it was definitely a good reminder that no matter what you have going on, you can do small things that have a really big impact for your kids. So these were the three that my daughters came up with that were very, very simple, don't cost a whole lot to do, and that they were looking forward to coming up. So the first one is decorating the Christmas tree. So most years we set up time to decorate the tree as a family. We put the phones away, we listen to the Christmas music, we dance around, we sing. It's very silly, it's very rambunctious, and it's a great time. 2020, however, has not been a great year, and decorating the Christmas tree was, well, right in line with the rest of 2020. If you haven't seen how that ended up, make sure you check out the video. I'll have a link at the end of this one to that. Uh, needless to say, it did not go as planned this year, but even that, even knowing that one of our favorite things didn't go as planned, it'll still be a memory. We're still gonna be able to look back and be like, oh my gosh, do you remember how hard 2020 was? Like with everything and even decorating the tree was hard. Like <laughs> there was nothing not hard and we'll be able to laugh and it'll make a memory and that's really all that's important. So that was our first one. Our second one is watching Christmas movies. They love watching Christmas movies. We have, of course, our annual uh, tradition one, the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. It's an old one, but it's fun and the kids like it and it's very enjoyable. So we actually clear out our living room. We get out all the toys. We take out all of the um, coffee tables. We move everything out and we bring in all kinds of pillows and blankets from the floor and we all kind of snuggle up to watch a movie and halfway through we stop for intermission why you need an intermission in a two-hour movie you probably don't but it makes it more fun and so we get up and we get snacks and treats and drink you know hot cider or cocoa or whatever we we're feeling like that day and have a like a little mini family moment and then we go back and watch the end of the video again nothing fancy or exciting, but the kids look forward to it every year. Okay, so our last one, number three, is driving around looking at Christmas lights. You know, I think as we get older, we forget the magic of Christmas and how simple it is just knowing that everyone is kind of in this magical moment for the holiday season and everyone gets festive and holiday spirit and it makes it really nice. So we get in Christmas PJs, roll down the windows, we let it get cold, so we're all bundled up in our blankies, and we drive around, we look at the lights, and we look at, you know, which ones we really like. 
Oh, and you know, the Smiths down the way, they decorated this year, even though they didn't decorate last year. And it's really fun and listen to the Christmas music. And yeah, that's really what my kids look forward to. And so when I thought about these and I thought about what they meant, and I thought about how my kids were telling me about these, it reminded me that the stuff under the tree doesn't make or break the Christmas. It's how you spend time as a family. It's about having moments where you have put away the electronics. You've turned off the phones, you've put the computers in the other room, where you're really just in the moment of being a family. And that's what makes or breaks the Christmas, is how often you can have those moments. And those are the moments that your kids will remember for years to come. Those are the moments that when they look back at their childhood Christmases, they're gonna remember. So I hope that was easy for you or you know helpful, maybe something you guys can start doing. Again, decorating that tree as a family, watching Christmas movies, going around looking at Christmas lights. So let me know, let me know if those are things that you guys do or plan on doing, or if there's other things that you guys do, drop me a note down below. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to incorporate new ideas in for our family as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you push the subscribe button so you don't uh, miss anything going forward. And if you wanna hear how our decorating of the Christmas tree went, I'll put the link uh, here as well and you can click on that and go see how uh, not on point ours went. So I hope that helps and we'll talk to you guys later.